Hey guys, my name is Ben and welcome back to episode 79 of your Bucket Plugin Tutorials. Today we're going to be looking at nearby entities and sort of like so what entities are near to you. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll get straight into it. Uh, the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to make an on command method. Uh, and what's going to happen is when the uh, player types the command like nearby, it's going to send him a message of all of the nearby entities. And if they're a player, then it's going to send them their name. So first of all, we're just going to return... Uh, false. Okay, just to get rid of the errors. So, we're now going to just make a statement to check if the sender is a player. So if the sender is an instance of player, and then invert that by putting the exclamation mark at the front of the clause with the parentheses around the uh, instance of uh, parameter, then we're going to say sender dot send message, and then you must be a player to use this command. So they can't use it if they're not a player, because we can't... Um, and then return false because we can't say like the console what what entities are near to them. So after this, we can cast sender to player because we know that it has to be. Because um, if it's not, then we're going to return out this method. Uh, so next, we're just going to check what the label is. So if the label, the command label, if the uh, the first thingy so slash something is nearby, then we're going to execute our command. And in here, we're going to loop through. And this is basically all it is. So we say for entity e, and then a colon, and then we type player dot get nearby entities, and then the radius of x, y, and z. So we're going to do just 10, 10, 10. So it's going to go 10, 10, 10 in a circle, uh, yeah, well, in a square around the player. And then we're going to import everything. So import entity from org to bucket entity. And then we're going to send the player message. We're going to say player dot send message, send message, send message, and we're going to say. First of all, we're going to put this in brackets. So we're going to say, is the entity an instance of player? So is E instance of instance of player? So is that true? Question mark. If it is true, then we're going to cast the uh, entity to a player, and we're going to get the name, and we're going to send the player the, the name of the entity. Otherwise, if it is an entity, we're just going to send it the type of entity. So got yeah, type dot name. So like so, we can actually remove these uh, braces here. So what that's doing is it's going to loop through all of the entities in a 10 by 10 by 10 radius, and it's going to send their player message. And if the entity is a player, then we're going to send them a message saying the player's name. Otherwise, we're going to send the player a message with the entity type. So we can now go ahead and make our plugin dot yml. So plugin dot yml. Um, and in here, we can just kind of uh, put our thing. So our class name is YouTube dots nearby entities, and then that's the name. And then commands. Uh, our command is nearby, and the description. The description. The description is going to be uh, get nearby, get nearby entities, like so. Um, like so, that is it. So I'm going to export this, and I'll see you guys in the game. Okay, so we're back in the game, um, and the spider isn't, and then there's obviously me around. First of all, I'm just going to get away from my other account, and I'm going to type slash nearby. And see, there's a spider because there's one spider around. If I came sort of over here, maybe I can get both of them. Oh no, see now I have two spiders and a horse. Ignore the first one. There's a horse over there. There's a spider there and a spider there. If I come over towards me, it's going to say the BC Bros and spider. Because obviously within the 10 by 10 by 10 radius, there is a me and a spider. So this isn't actually like, you know, a nice plugin. I'm not saying this is a plugin that I would release somewhere. But this is just showing you how to get nearby entities and then how to check if they're players. Um... Obviously, if you want to check if they're a player, you could then just put an if statement here and say if E is an instance of player, because you're looping through every entity within that radius. Thanks for watching, guys. If you've got any questions, just comment them below or email me at ben at the bcbrosbucket.com. Um, obviously, you can order custom bucket plugins from the bcbrosbucket.com. And yeah, so thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.